What's going on Rock Squad and if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Boldini and I like to draw stuff. I did a poll a while back asking which musician I should draw next and you guys voted for Steven Tyler, so today we're drawing Steven f***ing Tyler. Callie actually picked out this picture, uh, it's, I believe it's from the 70s or so, so it's a younger Steven Tyler since I drew a younger Ozzy Osbourne. Let me know if I should try the other eras of these two as well, I think it would be a pretty fun challenge. Now if there's anyone watching this video who doesn't know who Steven Tyler is, because for the longest time I didn't really know who he was was I was like wasn't that guy on American Idol when I saw Aerosmith one time I was like holy cow and then everything clicked together and Callie and I actually went and saw them in concert uh I think it was around like mid last year maybe towards the end of last year I'm not too sure but it was absolutely insane for a band that's in their 70s collectively is just whew, it, it was it was quite the show we were just lucky enough to see one of the last shows before Steven Tyler heard his voice it, it was honestly such a blessing that we got to see them and Steven Tyler is a true natural born entertainer, that's for damn sure. And I noticed like a few different things that they do at their shows that kind of just make certain songs like special when you listen to them again. Uh, for example, in Sweet Emotion, when he says the rabbit done died, and then he goes, yes it did, but then at the show, he said, I didn't do it. And now every single time I listen to Sweet Emotion, that's... I, it replays that moment, and I think that's that's just it's dope. Sadly, I didn't get footage of that exact moment, but I do have clips from the show that I'll throw up a little bit on this. You know, not like vomit throw, you know what I meant. Throw it up on the screen. When Steven Tyler's voice gets better, and if you ever get the chance to see them in concert, I 10 out of 10 would highly recommend it. Me and Callie both had the time of our lives at this show. Uh, sadly, nobody where we were sitting was standing up. Just because it was a super narrow walkway doesn't mean that you can just sit down through one of the most amazing historic rock bands of all time. I mean, but regardless of all that, I, uh, I'm honestly, I, I'm kind of surprised with how well this kind of turned out. Like, I made the eyes a little bit big and some of the features are a little off, but I think for what it's worth, man, I think it turned out pretty solid. Like, you can somewhat tell that it's Steven Tyler, I'd say, you know, I mean, I got the big lips on there, that's about 90% of it, and then I feel like I kind of nailed the hair almost. I, it, it's kind of scraggly and all scribbly and stuff, but I don't really know how to do hair strands per se, I, I should probably practice that a little more. But I would say I've gotten better with portraits since drawing Ozzy Osbourne, so maybe I really should do another drawing of Ozzy Osbourne. Maybe 80s Ozzy, you know, the bleach hair, the crazy look and all that. I, I think that would be interesting. And I was going to do an older Steven Tyler, but then I realized that there's even more detail in the face and everything like that as these celebrities get older and everything. So, yeah, I, I mean, even at a young age, like I feel like, Steven had, I mean, as you can see, the lines and stuff like that, not not to call him out or nothing, I'm just saying, you know, it's probably the job used to be completely honest. I would definitely eventually like to draw Joe Perry as well. Uh, clearly, the Toxic Twins, they're just they're absolutely legendary, to, to put it straight up, you know. So yeah, I, I want to draw Joe Perry, and then maybe I'll do Steven Tyler and Joe Perry together, draw like Toxic Twins type deal. I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud, I guess. Anyway, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this drawing, and if you have any pointers or tips on drawing better strains of hair, I would love to, you know, listen to what you have to say and kind of try to implement that somehow. Be sure to drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. I tend to live stream every Sunday or so. Definitely check out the links in the description down below to my other social media and some discount links to help you guys get some sweet discounts on some good stuff and help to support the channel, and I'd, I'd appreciate it. Keep your heads high, stay positive, and keep on rolling, Rock Squad. i catch you guys all later. Deuces.